Hey guys, welcome back. I just have a short video just to show you here really quickly. So there's, I have six ponds here basically, and you can change the color of the water depending on what fish you put in. So these ones are pretty rare ish. So the eel, the slime jack, salmon, and the cucumber. So basically go up to your pond, throw in your fish. So, and then they will just swim around basically and they'll give you little missions every day. Well, every day or every two days. Um, so they change the colour of the water. And that's cool, I'll show you that in a second. And then I like to keep a midnight squid and a blobfish in the bottom too. So they sell for a bit, but also they get rare drops. Which, that's very, very good. Um, a little tip just for the ponds. You can actually get a sign. Be dark sign, wood sign, zone sign, doesn't matter. And you can pop them down there and it'll tell you how many fish is in there and what type of fish is in there. Just throw them down. They're probably in a bad place. Right, so I keep a chest at the top of the ponds just so I can keep the, the rows in there. Whatever other stuff they drop. Actually, a midnight, I have another midnight squid. I'll throw him in here too. Get things moving a bit faster. And then once the rows are out, you can take them out. Over here to your barrels. And just start flying them in. So I, it's important to keep these close because they take a little bit of time. But also, if you have them at hand, they're pretty handy. Right, so I'm going to let time play on. For maybe a day or two, and then I'll show you what I mean when it says it asks you for a quest. That'll be maybe in two seconds for you, maybe a day for me. Right, so it's been maybe, I'd say, three or four days. Right, so here's the questions they ask you. So these are the exclamation points, that's how you know they want something. So, what do you want? Bring us 20 slimes. Okay, I can get 20 slimes. This guy wants. By void essence, I can get them too, they're pretty easy. But actually, you can see that this one has turned purple. And they're one of the only four that will turn the water a different color. So basically, that will turn red, that will turn green, that will turn... Oh god, I don't know what color that is. I think it's kind of a reddy color as well, but that's purple as well. Right, uh, there's the rose. That's why I was saying it's so handy to have the pots here. Because you can just fill up them. And then... Sell them or use them for something else. What does he want? He wants two sea urchins. And I got some squid ink from that. Right. So I'm going to get go and get some of them. A um, couple of bits of items that they want. And I'll show you what it looks like when you feed them. Pretty cool. That wasn't too bad. I had the slime in my chest. I had white essence in the chest. The only thing I had to get was the sea urchin. Which wasn't too bad, you know. Right, so here's me feeding the, the slime jack. He does a wee jump because he's happy now. Hey, look, the slime just got, got what they needed. Right, he was void essence, I'm pretty sure. Void essence satisfied. The, the, okay, and um, Blabfish wants two of them, two sea urchins. Right, so that's not too bad. I'll put this in here. Um. Pop that in there, and pop that in there. And yeah, my farm. Basically, I stopped farming. Because I was making so much money from uh, mining. And from the fish as well. So. Just run up to the bed. Really quickly. And I'll see if anything changes in the morning. Yes, my house is empty. Just so you know. I'm... Rearranging stuff. Hey Rush, tomorrow is the winter star. Cool. You got, uh, yes, I will give him a rabbit's foot. Because everyone likes rabbit's feet. Right, so these, I need to do their quest first and you need to multiply past one. So with the likes of these, you can't actually put more in. You have to wait until they multiply. He wants three fire quartz. Okay, no problem. 
I'm going to get three fire quartz. And I'll show you, I'll just fast forward it until I see what all the water looks like. Alright, I'll be back in two seconds. Actually, so while I'm waiting, I may as well show you this. Um, basically, it's the winter festival thing where I have to give someone random a secret gift. Basically, I ended up getting Pierre. Obviously, I have rabbits. People like rabbit's feet. So Pierre is going to get a rabbit's foot. Um, I happen to have a purple one, which is pretty good. Here you go. Everyone in the village likes um, rabbit's feet. So if you give them rabbit's feet, they'll automatically put the hearts up. Um, so back to the farm. I'll sleep and then I'll see what happens with the with the pond. I want to see if they change colour yet so we can show you it. Take a quick nap. Save the progress, as always, when you sleep. Right, back out we go. What's this? Uh, how are you there? You're doing, I have a gift for you. Thank you for the cloth. Sweet. Right. Ah, there we go. Right, all the ponds have changed colour. So, the eels have multiplied. The void salmon. No, the slime jacks. Void salmon. The cucumbers have all multiplied and they basically changed the color of the water, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then this guy want tree coral. I'll get him coral later. Not important right now. So basically that's the whole reason of the video. I wanted to show you that. And you know, it's cool to have it. Like you can have set up a, a farm as like a rainbow pond farm and they're pretty profitable too. Um, I had a playthrough before where it was mostly fish and it was very very profitable and um, because obviously you can take some fish out sell them if you're overflowing you know you can catch them as well it's pretty cool and then in the meantime you have all of this just sitting waiting to be collected obviously I had different fish in the tank but I've taken them all out I'm gonna actually just sell these and I'll see what they see what they go for. There's no harm. I'll feed that other fish tomorrow. But let me just run up here and throw all this stuff in the bin. I'll even throw away that cloth that I got because I don't need it. Them chests there are absolutely wedged to the limit. Like I could have took some of them fish out and sold them as well. So there's just from the road there's twenty four thousand. Not including the fish, not including anything else. You know, you don't need anything else. But that being said, I'm gonna set up my farm properly when it rolls around to January and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Thank you for yeah, whatever PR and so on. Accept the quest. I will accept the quest because I like quests. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. I will do a farm video shortly and that is no headache it's on. Cheers.